Hello, everybody. Welcome in here to the Truth Serum. Post-game show here for the Steelers and the Browns this afternoon. Joey the Truth Wagner with you. Victor Valdez with me as well. As everybody, it was exactly how we thought it would be. Rock'em, sock'em, grind it out. AFC North football today in Cleveland. And the final score on basically a last-second field goal. Cleveland 13, Steelers 10, Browns improved to 7 and 3, second place in the division. Steelers fall to 6 and 4. They are third place in the division. And this is one of the other than Jalen Warren. This was a pathetic game offensively, Victor. Absolutely pathetic. You're in the market for a quarterback, Jonathan. Uh, you don't have a quarterback at all. I know that this offensive line does not help him. I know that the scheme and probably the play caller is not even average. However, at some point, if you are a quarterback in this league, a starter, you have to show something. There's no ability for him to sense the pocket there's no ability for him to read the field. I mean, for Christ, I mean, they, they were stacking the box the whole game. You're telling me you can't push the ball down the field? And there was multiple times where you're looking at him like, where, where is he going with that? I After see. a while, it, it can't be miscommunication. It just can't. There's something he's lacking. He's not. He ha there's nothing about him that's special. And the reality is, too, as much as uh, maybe in his defense is that there's not a system there's not an offensive system with enough pieces for him to be even a game manager. I think, unfortunately, because this coaching staff is going to be the coaching staff no matter what at the top, you got to get another quarterback. You got to get a quarterback that can hold his own, that doesn't need a system, that doesn't need, you know, what I'm trying? he needs to be able to put a band aid on everything else. Because until that happens, this is going to be your Pittsburgh Steelers team. They'll probably make the playoffs, they'll probably be above 500, maybe win eight, nine games, or 10 games if they're lucky. But they're never going to progress. They're never going to compete with the top dogs in the AFC if they don't have that, which they don't. It comes as simple as that. They all they, they have no passing game. They're almost just as bad as the New York Giants right now. With Tommy to DeVito. Football. Yes, with passing the football. I mean, they it's either to the sidelines or to – they, they don't even look in the middle of the field. You forget you even have Pat Fryermuth out there. And I'm telling you, to, to attack the sidelines or throw it behind the line of scrimmage, those are not high completion plays. Those are just not high percentage plays. It's just not. And it, it, I don't know. I don't know. I, I personally think you have a receiving court. I think you have a tight end court. And I think you even have a running back room. I know the line is not the best, but at some point, we had to look at the quarterback. It's only right. There's, we can't defend him anymore. He's not a rookie. He's had more than enough. It's sad that BTR looked more comfortable and poised than Kenny Piggy did right there at the clutch. Like you said, outside of Jalen Warren, this was probably the worst offense. I don't even think did Kenny even throw for a hundred yards? Uh the no, stats probably not. The stats for Pickett today, of course, because of the lateral there on the final play, Pickett finished fifteen of twenty eight. For 106 yards passing, 62 passer rating, and everybody, I think it's time to say that the Steelers don't have the guy at quarterback. No, they don't. They don't, they don't. have the guy at quarterback. There's enough talent on the roster where you can win ugly almost every week and will yourself to 9-8. and eight. But, because I will say this, man. You, there's just no way, and I, I hate to interrupt you, but there's just no way with that. If you put George Pickens in Kansas City, or you put him with a healthy bro, that he's not a top three receiver in this league. Deontay Johnson is so solid as a two. I like Calvin Austin and his versatility. Imagine Calvin Austin like in Kansas City and what Andy Reid would do with him. That just that speed factor. There's there's guys here. Jalen Warren is a dog. Yeah, it's it just. It's just not good enough. It's just absolutely, in all parts, not good enough at the quarterback position. And everybody, you know that we've been trying, we've been trying to be very fair 
with we've been more than fair. We more than fair today. with the quarterback play. We have we we've been more than fair with it. And it's at the point where at some point you have to overcome. Yep. And he can't overcome anything. I'll, I'll tell you like this. The passing game was better in Ben's final year. And Ben couldn't even push the ball down the field anymore at that point. There was just more rhythm throwing the ball. They couldn't run the ball to save their lives. But there was more rhythm in the passing game with Ben off of elbow that could barely even probably move anymore. Do you get what I'm saying here? With no O line. There's something Kenny just doesn't have it. He doesn't. And I there's just you don't see people flip the switch and next week he goes out there to throw for four twenty three, five tutties and you know, it just, it just doesn't happen. That's he not happening. Happen. That's not happening. Uh no, he doesn't he just doesn't have it. And and and, and I will say this for people that might want to say we were wrong. Kenny Pickett was the right decision in that draft. He was the most logical decision in that draft. Going after Russell Wilson was not a smart idea. Going after Deshaun Watson wasn't even a Would smart idea. Would have been a idea. disaster. Yes, yes. So the reality is, is you don't – it is very, very rare that you go from a Hall of Fame top seven quarterback of all time to another good quarterback. It just doesn't happen. It's very rare. And so, uh, this is a very good – very good point here, John. Uh, John put in the uh, comment section, don't draft a quarterback in the middle late first round. If there's one you like, go trade up and get him. And Victor, I think this team is in a position to where if there's a quarterback they love, the roster is complete enough where you can part with some draft capital to move up in this quarterback class. Yeah. I'm with you. You know, the offensive line is a lot to blame, too. It's actually much better. It's better. It's a lot better than it was last season, and you just got to get to a point where they ran the ball for 172 yards against the Cleveland defense. There's just a time where, as a quarterback, you just have to overcome. You just have to overcome at some point. And he's not overcoming. He's not overcoming, and and we're pretty much Thanksgiving year two. This is when you know whether you have the guy or not is Thanksgiving year two. And I'm just going to say this, everybody. It doesn't look like the Steelers have the guy. And I'll leave it at that. They don't have the guy.